Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima, and I'm here taking a look at Cell Damage HD. Cell Damage actually came out on the GameCube and Xbox, of all things, of, like back in 2001, 2002, something like that. And now we get a port of it on the PS3, PS4, and Vita. That's a bit of an odd choice to bring forward into the high-definition future, but oh well. So let's go have a look at the options real quick. Uh, music stuff, controls. There's your controls. Uh, yeah. Uh, you can also change your language. Not much useful there. You can view the credits. Seriously, this is just so quick. I might as well just go through all the credits. Good lord. Those the voice actors? Yeah. Hey, Charles Martin, he was in this game. Awesome. Didn't know that. There's a few special things. God, there's a lot of special things. 2004, okay. Came out in 2004. Bit of concept art in the background there. Okay. Go have a look at the rewards real quick. So you can see the trophies that you have to get. Pretty basic stuff. And we've got movies. Which are probably meant to be just TV-style introductions for all the characters. But the weird thing is, you have to play three matches with those characters to unlock their intros. And then 12 to unlock their finishing movies. Which is a bit odd. You would think the introduction movies would be open right away. I actually haven't had time to unlock them. Because, I mean, I like getting these gameplays out as early as possible. And I think I've learned enough about the game to actually you know, show them off in a good enough light. So you've got six characters here. There are four more unlockable as boss characters. And we'll just pick Cinder, because why not? It doesn't really matter. They're all functionally the same. And we have three different game modes. We've got Smack Attack, Flag Rally, and Gate Relay. I'll play Smack Attack, because Smack Attack is the best mode the game has, and I'd like to give the game, like, a fair shot. Basically, I'd like to give it its best foot forward to start off with. You've got all sorts of different weapons you can unlock. You unlock them by finishing levels. Now this is where a little bit of a source spot is going to be. You can change the difficulty of the AI, easy, normal, hard, fair enough. But also, you can turn the AI off. This game has no multiplayer whatsoever, not the Vita version. The PS3 and PS4 have offline multiplayer, like split screen. This version has no, no multiplayer. And look at this, set AI to know to play with human players only, so you'll just be playing with yourself. There is no reason to ever turn that off. I have no idea what the deal is there. So yeah, no multiplayer, that's like one against this game already, considering that one of its major features was that it was like one of the early... Was it one of the earliest like couch games like this? I don't know, probably not. Because this, this did come out in the PS2 and Xbox era and the PlayStation did exist before then. So, there are 12 different arenas. I've seen, like, as we can see, 8 of them. Might as well go play on Lunacy. You unlock more levels by playing the earlier levels. So, like, you start out with these two here, Swamp Stop and Monster Marsh, and then you just unlock the other ones as time goes on, along with the new weapons. New weapons are introduced slowly, but surely, into the game. That's about it. Just wait for the game to load. Loading times aren't that bad. I'm just downloading something in the background and that tends to screw up loading times. Voices are quiet. What the hell? Okay, but we'll just skip the rest of these. Those little introductions are there just to... Help out a bit. So, what happens is, this mode, Smack Attack, we basically go around beating the shit out of each other, and the person who beats the shit out of the rest of the other players the most, wins. So, you go around and pick up these absolutely insane weapons. Like, for example, I've just got this chain gun here, but now let's get a giant baseball bat, and immediately get taken out by a brain in the can. Wonderful. Alright, so let's grab this grenade then. And, whoops, get out of my way, Mushroom, thank you. There are no players here, there are players over there though, so let's go get some players over there. I keep swapping weapons. Okay, lightning gun. 
Oh god. I'm dead again. <laughs> Jeez, I was doing so well last time. So every character basically handles the same. There's slight differences between them, but not much. You have a basic weapon which you throw out by default, and you can also throw it out with the circle button if you have any other weapons equipped. And all the other weapons you have, you use the X button to use. You, hold, you press or hold the X button to use it. Oh, goodness gracious me. I need, to, I need to get this damn thing off me. There we go. Chainsaw. There are different types of weaponry. There, there are... Alright, let me try that again. There are, like, a lot of different weapons, but they all fall into the same basic categories. Like, ones that swing, ones that fire, ones that are short range, like TNT sheep and... TNT sheep and grenades. And to be fair, the combat in this game is really fast, really furious, and it's actually a lot of fun. Seriously, gotta give him credit for this. This is, like, stupid fun. Just gotta get away from those grenades. I'm using the right stick to do that, by the way, so you can just, like, fly all over the bloody place if you dodge enough. God damn it. So it's all about just... Going and grabbing weapons and just, like, letting fly on your enemies. And admittedly, once you once you get into, like, first place, everybody starts ganging up on you and gets insane. If you have a good weapon to just basically destroy them with... God damn it. If you have a good weapon to destroy them with, you can just come in and wreck shit. Like, would you... Okay, got chainsaw now, so we'll just... Get your ass back here, hovercraft boy. Just do a flip forward, flip to the side. There we go. And smacks earned in this game by... How the bloody hell did I do that? Smacks are earned in this game by just... Complete... Just hitting stuff. Consistently hitting stuff is the best way to... Pull stuff off in this game. Ooh, that's not good. I'm about to lose. Jeez, I was doing so well before. I wonder what the hell happened. Some of the weapons do feel really overpowered, though, like... Like, this weapon here that freezes stuff isn't really that useful. The... The axe here isn't particularly useful because you can only hit in front of you with it. Gets you a fair amount of points, but, I mean... I, see, like, the chain gun or the, the... A gun like the chain gun or the freaking... The freaking saw or the baseball bat feel more effective than all the other weapons, so you just want to be going for the... Yeah, damn, I lost hard there. You want to be going for the most valuable weapons. So yeah, as you can see, the harpoon there got a lot of smacks. So that was a look at the... Free... That was a look at the best mode of the game, and... I've got to be honest, there's not that much else to do in the game, like... Once you finish a level, you unlock the next set of levels, right? So you're constantly just going through and unlocking levels, and then you're just gonna be finished. Because that game was really short. That was like five minutes, so... If you continue just winning like that, you'll be done in a couple of hours. It's really, really short. And there's only three other modes, too. We might as well talk about the other ones. So we'll do some gate relay. As Cinder, and we'll pick a level we haven't seen yet. Yeah, this, uh, Gate Relay is one of the worst, is actually the worst game, I'll say. It's the worst game mode that this game has, because... The thing is, the combat in this game is what's best about it, not the handling or the driving of the cars. Gate Relay is your basic checkpoint race. Nothing else to it. Those frame rate drops are my capture kit, please ignore them. They might go away. They just might go away. There we go. No, they're not, they're not going away. Hold on a second, let me see if I can get this fixed. God almighty, I'm very thankful that my kit isn't a complete piece of shit. Let's try this again. So, as I was saying before, your gate race is your basic checkpoint race. You go through all the checkpoints, and you get crushed by the ragdoll of huge cars trying to get through these goddamn gates. It's... I don't like this mode at all, can you tell? It's 
a ridiculously annoying mode because it takes away all the combat from cell damage and cell damage's combat is basically what saves it in the long run. And then shit like this can happen in the gate race. See, shit like that doesn't really matter in any sort of combat mode because you can usually just pick yourself up and dust yourself off and get right back on the track and fight people, but no. When it comes to a gate race, you get knocked way off path. You have to spend a whole goddamn minute restarting the game because you're going to be a full lap behind. And when you're a full lap behind, you, you lose. You are not going to win, no matter what. So one mistake on a freaking eight lap course and you're screwed. So just, just one mistake on an 8 lap course and you're absolutely screwed. And the thing is, these cars are really fast even on normal AI difficulty, so you're not going to want to go off the beaten track and get yourself weapons to help you through. You're going to have to freaking just like dash right on past everything. And even then you're likely to run into shit like those goddamn logs. It's a pain in the ass. Those turbo boosts, that you have to get those turbo boosts from doing all the ridiculous stunts. So you have to be constantly flipping to earn turbos. I mean, Jesus Christ, this game is a game that's based more around its car combat than it's, like, than it's actual racing and driving mechanics. Like, of any of the modes that you could have put in, put in a game based around car combat, you had to go for freaking checkpoint racing, really? Even when you have all the freaking... All the freaking power-ups off the beaten track so that anybody who actually wants to win the race has to bloody just run through their goddamn... Just ha you have to be go straight for the gates. There's no point going off the beaten track because you're going to get caught up to. Thankfully, if you sail right over a gate, you can go through... It counts as going through it, so you can just continue on getting screwed by those freaking logs that pop in at exactly the wrong times. Gotta flip forward, get some boosts. Just racing in this game isn't pleasant at all. It's just so boring. At least I made it at the very end. See, he caught up to me. That This game has some really strange rubber banding. <sighs> of all the modes you could have put into your freaking car combat game, it had to be a freaking checkpoint race mode. Good lord. We'll play as Fleming for the next mode, I guess. Flag rally. So... I mean, you could have put in a bloody capture the flag mode or a sort of juggernaut mode like in Halo where one guy's really big and everyone has to beat on him, you know? A, a, a just a gay race mode? Seriously? This game came out in 2004. Surely you couldn't have taken... Alright, alright, alright. I'm harping too much on it. What I should be harping on is how the game really doesn't last that long. Uh... Alright, I'll hop on something else that I actually haven't talked about yet. Performance. Generally, the game performs at a, a, a relatively solid 60, but when the action gets a bit heavy, the frame rate can start to drop. But it doesn't make that big of a difference to the gameplay and controls, so don't hop on that for too long. So, flag rally. You gotta collect the flags. And then you gotta take them to a preset area on the map, like this. The more flags you bring back at one time, the more points you get. So, the idea is that you want to go and collect three or four flags, and then you want to take them all right back to the... Can't even tell who has the... Well, you can tell who has the flags. It's just kind of hard to get to them. Hey, flag, flag. Hello. Hello. 
Dodges are actually pretty useful in this mode. You want to be dodging as much as possible, because if you get hit once, you will lose your flag. Or if you get hit by anything particularly heavy, you'll lose your flag, like that. So you want to go and get the flags back. God, I fucking hate those logs. I'm sorry. Those logs are just such a pain in the ass. And I'm going to lose all my goddamn flags in a minute. Why am I not able to fire my weapons? Yeah. At least the AI seems relatively intelligent. It knows when to go for you. It knows when to not focus on you. It acts the way a human would. Which is... Kind of one of the problems I have with this game is that... This game would be much more fun if I could have friends to play with, but the lack of multiplayer in this just kind of really grinds my gears. The lack of multiplayer is just... it just feels... it just makes the game feel so um, unsubstantial. Like, you're gonna spend like two, three hours at most getting through the gameplay. Getting through all the quests. Well, they're not even really quests, they're just getting through all the 12 levels of every mode. Maybe take a little bit longer to get through all the other ones, but... It's just... It's so insubstantial! I mean, for ten bucks... It just seems like something that's over too soon, and... Really feels like it should have multiplayer, but doesn't. Like, it doesn't even have ad hoc. It feels like such a... Feels like such a cheat, more than anything else. I mean... A high... A... Uh, HD remaster of a game that would excel in its multiplayer, done in by the fact that it lacks multiplayer. That is just... I don't know... Disappointing more than anything else. I better just start flipping and losing everything. Why am I losing flags? I didn't even see what I got hit by. What the hell? I'm sorry, did you just say lick my boobs? You probably didn't, but I'm gonna pretend that's what you said anyway. I'll give it credit though. When you're playing in the in the mode where it's just destroying absolutely everybody and nothing else, that's when the game shines, but the lack of multiplayer, the insubstantialness of it, and the just outright plain not fun gate race mode. I can't say I can recommend this game with a full heart. It's $9 right now, but it'll cost 10 once the PlayStation Plus discount wears off. It's disappointing in most senses that you can use the word disappointing. I wish I could have more fun with this. I really could, but... I'm just going to keep thinking all the time, I want to play this with my friends. I want to play this with people online. I want to... I want modes that aren't absolutely stupid, like... Like a Juggernaut mode, or a... Or just, like, even a mode like Rocket Race, where it's just people... You race to a specific area and then hold it, or something, like King of the Hill? That would be great! There's just... All the modes that seem to need to be in this game aren't here. I don't know, maybe I'm just speaking with some sort of foresight, but I mean... I don't know. Maybe they didn't want to touch the game that much, but you know, maybe the HD remakes can improve on their... Can improve on the base game. Maybe it's just a part of all HD remake contracts that you can't have a freaking... Have any changes whatsoever to your game. Maybe. Okay, I'm getting a sort of alert here, so I see if I'm gonna need to just... Oh. God. Damn. Boost. Out of the... How did I lose my flags? What the hell? So yeah, it's not worth it, to, be, to tell you the truth. I mean, like... I have a sort of double-sided test. On whether to actually keep a game on my computer on whether to keep a game on my 64 gig or not. If this game was under 250 meg, I could justify keeping it around because it's a small game and there's no icon limit anymore, but it's 500 meg, so I can't even justify keeping it around just because it's small. It's just, 
if they patch it to add something along the lines of maybe a little bit of what am I thinking? If they if they patch it, add online multiplayer and add a couple of modes that aren't completely stupid, maybe I would be able to say go for it. But at the in the current state that this game is in, I can't. A fun g oh we unlocked an opening moving, opening moving opening movie. We might as well go watch that. in a nutshell. So, Cell Damage HD. It's disappointing. Yeah, that was the that was the intro. Thanks for playing that right there and then game. It's disappointing. Not really worth the 10 bucks. If they patch it, it will be. This has been Blue Maxima. I'll see you all next time.